I think one of the things that happened, or one of the changes, is John was very light-handed. Uh -huh. So, you know, I think I met him twice mm -hmm. in person to have discussions that would be of the nature we were having with the CCTLDs, and that was a, as a, an RIR that, that we would meet with him because we had a problem about something. Yeah. Extremely rare because he was very light-handed and he believed in letting right. people do what they do. And I think ICAM was this different model or this different mindset. And I, I think a lot of the people that were involved weren't from the engineering background, the the, the guys who had worked in building yeah. up networks. So it was a different style. And that cause consternation, you know, and, and a lot of the CC TLD folks had probably only met John once, never had to deal with him again, mm -hmm. apart from technical issues. So, so people don't like change. Mm. So in, in general, change brings fear. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think there were misconceptions, or maybe there weren't, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> but I think there were misconceptions that ICANN was trying to control something. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure that, that was there, but you know, if you've been left alone all this time and then suddenly these people turn up, I mean, if you talk it to it from the perspective of the DNS root service, for example, which is another community which yeah. I participate, we hadn't even really met each other before this time. Mm. And then this ICAN thing comes along, like, well, who are these people? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was often missed, and I had to remind people of on a regular basis in the early days, is all of these people that you're talking to, they've all been doing this for 10, 20 years. They predate ICAM. Right. And that was, a f I think, something that was lost at times with people.